All right, fifth graders, here we have Math Chat 38. I'm going to go through each one of the areas with you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then have you work independently. For algebraic thinking, it's asking you what the relationship is between the numbers on X and Y. Um, so you're going to look at the X column and, or I'm sorry, the X row and the Y row. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to say, okay, between 2 and 4, what's that relationship? Between 4 and 8, what's that relationship? Between 6 and 12, what's that relationship? And so on. You're not looking at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. You're not looking at this row, and you're not looking at this bottom row. You're looking more as a pair in the column. So you're going to look at this pair, then you're going to look at this pair, and so on. So you're going to type what the relationship is between these two um, numbers in the X and Y column. Down here for base 10 numbers, you are going to be dividing by powers of 10. So remember when you're dividing, you are moving the decimal to the left. You are making that number smaller. Um, you guys can use that AW app right here to start working on that. So I believe it was what, 3.13? Yep. So we're going to have 3.13 divided, I'm sorry, not not multiply, we're going to divide it by 10. And when we are dividing, we are moving that decimal to the left. I'm moving it to the left only one time because I only have one zero. So I'm gonna pick that up, drop it off right here, one time to the left. So my new, uh, or my quotient is going to be 0 0.313. I'm going to type that answer in right here for you guys, 0.313. You're going to continue that pattern, and I did already give you an answer right here on what direction the decimal moves when dividing. I'll have you guys type that out, though. Down here for fractions, this one's going to be a little confusing because it is on the computer. Um, they want you to create fraction models to show how you are going to go about um, finding the answers to these uh, division problems. So if I have one half divided by four, they want you to draw the lines. And to do that, you're gonna to wanna to go to the insert line and draw lines to partition the fraction models. So if I go to insert and I go down to line and I draw a line, okay? So I have one half divided by four. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna partition it into a half. Okay, there's my half. Now I'm going to take my half and cut that into fourths. So there's that. So we're going to do it again. Oops. It's a little cumbersome here. And it doesn't have to be perfectly even because I know we're on a computer and it is a little challenging. So I took one half and I divided it by four. One half divided by four if I go over here on my app and I, or my all app whiteboard here, I'm gonna have one half divided by four. Now when I'm dividing, I need to um, create this whole number into a fraction. So I'm just gonna put it over one because any fraction over one or any number over one, it's just itself. So now I have two fractions, it looks like that I'm working with. Now when I'm dividing fractions, I want to keep the first fraction the same, change the sign to multiply, and then flip the second fraction. So it's going, I believe you guys did this with Ms. Smith, but I could be wrong. Um, you're going to want to go 1 half, multiply, 1 over 4. Okay. So again, what I did is I put the 4 over 1, kept the first fraction the same, change the second or change the sign to multiply and flipped the second fraction. Now I just have a multiplication problem and I can multiply across. So one times one is going to get me one. And then two times four is going to get me eight. So my final answer is one eighth. And if I look at that fraction model that I created right here, if I were to extend these lines all the way over, if I take one half and divide it by four, I'm going to make eights. Is what I'm going to make out of this. I'm going to have um, eights because I'm going to have four on this side and then four on this side. So I have a total of 
one eighth. Oops. And if you guys have a problem with creating these lines, don't worry about it. I'd rather see your work here than worry about these boxes because we are on a computer and it is a little challenging. All right, down here for measurement and data, you're gonna do some break up, change, get back together um, problems. You are going to do some converting and I gave you a little key down here for some information you're gonna need. So in one mile, you have 5,280 feet. Uh, 12 inches is one foot and one yard is three feet. So you're going to want to try to figure out how many feet are in one and a half miles. Okay. How many inches? Um, yes. How many inches are in two and a half feet and how many feet are in three and a half yards? I'll let you guys work on that. And then down here for plot the plot and label the points on the grid. What you are going to need to do is you're going to need to go with your X and then Y point. So you always start with the first ones are X. So I'm going to go over one, which is right here. It's in the middle between these two boxes because these go up by twos. And then I'm going to go up three. So it's going to be in between the two and four again, because I'm going up by twos, not by ones. So I'm going to take this. Oh goodness. The joys of working on a computer. Okay. This is about, oops. I'm gonna just see where that landed. You're not gonna get it exact, but we can, we can surely try. All right, that's about as close as I'm gonna get for X over one up three, over one up three. And then I need to take my X point, not Y. Oops. Goodness gracious. X, there we go. And I wanna label that point X. You're gonna to wanna to do the same for the rest of these points. Again, if you guys have issues with this, don't worry about it, just try your best. I don't need it to be exactly um, at the right spot, just as long as it's in the, the general area, I'll, I'll see what you guys are working on. All right, that's it for Math Chat 38.